looking as far into the technological future as I dare, I'd like to describe the invention to end all inventions. I call it the replicator, and it's simply a duplicating machine. But it's a duplicating machine that can make an exact copy of anything. Now, we're already familiar with perfect copies of printing, of pictures, and of sounds. Yet, the camera and the tape recorder would have seemed miraculous to our ancestors. And uh, to a medieval monk, who perhaps in his whole life only saw a few dozen books, each one patiently copied by hand, our present world, in which literally millions of books exist, would again have seemed absolutely inconceivable. Can we imagine a world in which objects can be made as easily as today we can make books? Well, don't ask me exactly how the replicator would work. If I knew, I'd patent it at once. Confronted with such a device, our present society would probably sink into a kind of gluttonous barbarism because everybody would want unlimited quantities of everything since nothing would cost anything. In fact, cynics may doubt if any human society could survive an invention which would lead to unlimited abundance and the final ending of the curse of Adam. And yet, you know, human beings are almost infinitely adaptable. Look at the incredible changes we've experienced and survived from the Stone Age to the present time. And yet even greater changes are still to come because the future is not merely an extension of the present with bigger and better machines and cities and gadgets. It will be fundamentally different. And many of the things we take for granted will one day pass away as completely as, oh, spinning wheels and sedan chairs and oil lamps. And that is why the future is so endlessly fascinating, because try as we can, We'll never outguess it.